Minecraft. All right, so I believe I'm carrying this magma block because at the end of last episode, I was trying to uh, moisten, moisten my farm. Okay, so I did not bring any of those bone blocks home from the nether in our long ago trip. Uh, I would like to accelerate the growth accelerate the growth of my cherry trees so i think our first order of business is going to be to return to the nether after we feed the cows perhaps let's sure i'm running out of wheat to pass to them which means that doing something with the farm will be a priority soon let's push this wheat into the cows there we are and then head toward the nether for now mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. sure we have food all right there are pumpkins up there too all right, in case this goes wrong, we'll set our spawn point. I feel like I should have had this blocked off, but I didn't. Anything in here that's interesting? Oh, there's a bit more wheat. I'll take that along so that I can feed it to the cows when we come home. All right, so we're back here in the... Back here in the nether. And what I need is bone stuff. Oh, skeleton. Oh, I should have brought the bow. No matter. Oh, he missed. Oh, there we are. Uh, let me see. I saw... Over this way, there's some. I think that's bone block. This uh, danger, it is kind of danger. Oh, the soul sand makes such a creepy noise when you break it. Oh, there's quartz. Oh yes, a nether a house in the nether. That was also on the list, although I am not currently prepared to do that. Oh wow, these all give the XP. Even if I don't have a use for the item yet, uh, might be good to do that just to get the green bar to go up, you know? Well, what makes a very... Oh no. <laughs> um, I'm alive. Everything's fine. A very interesting noise when broken. Got it. Got him. Alright. I do see there's stuff along that wall, but this was not meant to be an exploration run. This is just a quick in and out. Does anyone know how to walk faster on the slow down sand here? Is it like with snow, where I, if I bring leather boots, maybe it'll be better? Let this also be a reminder to myself to uh, pump that into Google and try and figure it out on my own as well. Yeah. It's still a unsettling place, the nether. Pop. Oh, arrow. Interesting. And rain. Well, I think we can make it home before dark. And I can get, uh, do these break back down into, okay, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. They just turn into bone meal. I was worried I would have to find, like, figure out how to craft bone meal. But uh, what are you guys doing in the water? The foxes swim into water. Fox in the water. Why? Okay. Let's go. Oh gosh, in the you can see the bordering of the you know, as we step in and oh the snow. Yep, there we are. Now we're in the snow and now we're in the rain. Ah, uh, I still like the rain in Minecraft. It's that thing I think we talked about it a few episodes ago where it's like there's only a couple like ways the weather manifests in game, but uh it's always it it's very well done, is how it feels. Uh, again in the context of this very old block game. Boing, let's go down. Yes, uh, coming off of that massive like hour long ish episode that i just did before this one uh we're gonna go a little shorter because that was a lot of uh a lot of footage to work through and it kind of frazzled my brain just a bit let's get some of this bone meal uh i think we have a little bit of daylight left let's see if this if this does what i've seen it do for the other youtubers we just go shabam ah, hell yeah we can awesome that one maybe it doesn't have room to grow grab huh Maybe feed more? No? Maybe it needs sunlight. I don't know. We'll come back and we'll check on it after sleep. Sunset. Mm. Alright. I'm going to replant that. Let's go see if daylight has done anything for it. One. One is good. No, it's still still just sitting there. Maybe there are unusual requirements. Oh god. Oh no. We can't put it back into block form. That's awkward. Ditch the bones, I guess. Okay. Eh. Oh, it just doesn't. Eh. Is it a percent chance kind of deal? Like, hmm, excuse me while I look this up. Okay, so it seems that if a tree does not have, or if a sapling does not have sufficient space around it, it cannot grow. And these requirements differ from tree to tree. Uh, and the page I looked at didn't list the requirements for the tree we have in our inventory. It seems to be slightly outdated, maybe. Uh, but 5x5 five five was the the biggest one in the list. I think that was for jungle trees. So we will perform our experiment again. There it goes. Okay. So I'm going to assume that this tree, because of how wide it is, it requires a fairly large area around it that is unobstructed. 
I'm going to guess it requires like floor space. So this is three by three floor space. We will see if it pops. Hmm. I think it requires larger than three by three. So if we go, that's three by three. That will be uh, more than three by three. There we go. Yes. I think it requires space. And yeah, like see how spaced out they are? So if we're going to redo the forest around our home, we're going to need flat ground. To explain why I didn't see any of them growing like on a hill. Uh, and we will need... Can I just... Oh, it just turns into bone meal. Excellent. So anywhere we have a nice flat space, we might be able to grow one. But we will need flatness. Like right here, we could probably fit one, I'm betting. Nah. Well, over here, kind of on the corner. It seems like five. Five usages of the meal is enough to grow them. That one's probably not going to grow then. Definitely a space-hungry sort of tree. Uh, so I suppose if we're going to be doing some logging and reforming of the area, then we're just going to start removing. Uh, we, we need uh, the inventory space. So let's... Oh no, bad. So many sheep. Just push all that wheat into them for now. But yeah, let's go make some room in our inventory. And then do some logging. Uh, rare stuff. Boop. Kind of filling up in here. It's this dirt that is not properly stacked. Yeah, the nether stuff chest. Uh, don't know what I chest I should put bone meal in. It's here for now. Oh, I do actually have a little bit of extra coal around. Extra bone blocks can go in nether stuff. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we've made some space to work with. Now let us resume our logging adventure. Oh. And I have to say, having having not posted, uh, or having posted the Minecraft videos a little more infrequently, uh, on the back end, the, uh, the metrics took a nosedive. Uh, it seems to, to remain relevant to uh, attracting more people. You have to, uh, or I have to be regular with it, which is fair. Uh, and to not exhaust those who are already here, I need to be... A little less regular with it, which is an interesting tug of war, and I'm not sure how to balance it. So, uh, yes, please bear with me as I continue to ex experiment with the uh, frequency of posting and the length of videos and the style of how they're cut and edited and all of that. This is an amateur project, and I appreciate your patience. Ooh, big tree. Yeah, we're just trying to remove our old tree type here, and then we'll turn a portion of this into uh to something something more beautiful or more pink anyway ah, i heard a block break and it didn't sound like it was me but it's the leaves popping a little bit of a self jump scare there all right i suppose i should take down the birches i can always regrow them somewhere else <laughs> so unfortunately uh due to the monotonous nature of what we're doing here there's probably not going to be a lot of interesting happening in this video i don't know Depends on how long all of this logging takes, but so be it. All right, got all that done. Uh, okay, one more. one more tree. How are we on wood? Well, our inventory is not full, so we have that. Mm -hmm. It's like this flat area is probably perfect for what we're trying to grow. We need our dirt stack. Had basically a whole day spent chopping trees. And a new one springs up. Oh, do the saplings plant themselves when they fall? Oh no. I didn't realize that was a mechanic. That's why I'm seeing like, oh, it's interesting. Very interesting. Or maybe it was just my imagination and I happened to free up space near a sapling that I had planted. Cause like, this is the earliest tree we've chopped and these saplings haven't done anything suspicious. So, okay, maybe that was just me. I mean, I'm, Cause I'm pretty sure that it takes, that I saw someone play with a mod that makes saplings plant themselves on falling. So it can't be base game. <laughs> oh yes, and there it is outside our window. Oh, and they do this little pink leaf falling animation. Excellent, excellent, excellent. Quite a lot of wood, if nothing else. And we have these mushrooms, which I guess we'll put in the kitchen. I really need to get the other color of mushroom if we're going to ever eat any of them. And uh, since we're still subsisting off of all this steak, we'll just move this wheat out to the farm, or out to the animal food area. Oh man, it's so weird to see that there's just this flat gap junk here. Let's feed our creatures again. Maybe I should thin them down first. There are a lot of them. I don't know. We'll go. We'll go one more. One more. Uh, uh, my mouse wheel stopped working. That's interesting. Oh, okay. There it goes. We'll go one more round. 
feeding them all. Uh, all right. Anything else we can feed? Okay, so we had a 32 stack of wheat and we've expended 16. So there are 16 cows there of one size or another. Hmm. Well, I don't really want to just chop trees for another 10 minutes. So I think I want to go see what's on top of that. That spire there. I don't know that I've ever been over there. Oh gosh, running across a flat plain is so uninteresting compared to hopping. Oh gosh, there's just a... Oh right, because there's the smaller spire mountain and there's this even bigger one over there. Which, again, the Castlevania castle. Oh no, my mouse. My mouse died again. Okay, mouse alive. Let's, let's go all the way over here and see what we can see from the top of this hill. Just to, uh... Because I've never really traveled a whole bunch in this direction. Oh, my frame rate. We're loading chunks. Oh, no. I can feel it in the frame data. Oh, I see an ice pillar. I think I know what biome lies ahead. Oh, there's like water that is not frozen among some of that and more of these big spiry mountains. It's kind of cool. Didn't expect it to be such a sheer drop off the back end here, though. So definitely going in this direction, at least for that side, there's more more snow, but it warms up in that... that, that, that him. Cut. But it warms up in that direction. Interesting. Uh, let's see if we can get back down comfortably. I think we can. But yes, definitely... Uh, oh, gosh, the pain. Definitely the kind of place to build a snowy wizard tower or something. Because we do have more uh, more watchtowers to build eventually. All right, so the other spot that I want to go look at, because like here, atop that spire, perfect little watchtower spot, although we can still see the house, maybe... Well, maybe it's a good thing to have them in vision range of each other so that we can tr uh, easily get home by going from player built landmark to player built landmark. Yeah, there's this floating hanging bit here. Oh, we ran past a... Oh, that's a rabbit. Okay. Although it seems that if I want to build towers on mountains in this direction, I'm going to have my pick of towers, or pick of mountains, rather, to build towers on. Let's go this way. This is much further away on foot than I thought it would be. Oh, and there's just another cool spire right behind it. I wonder if in this state it would be climb, uh, climbable to get up there, if we could do it. It seems like there's an even taller one behind it. Oh, and over there, a bunch of exposed stone faces. Oh, gosh. So, because uh, I do back up my save occasionally with the in-game button for that, I noted uh, earlier my, my save file has gone over 130 megabytes, uh, which is not very large at all for a Minecraft world. I think when I was playing... A decade ago, we were up to something like two gigabytes, and my one of my dedicated friends who played a solo world had gotten his world all the way up to eight gigabytes, uh, mainly by running around in a boat to stress test the limits of the game's memory. Oh gosh, the lag. I may be running something in the background that is interfering, but I'll deal with... I'll, I'll just suck it up for this last bit of the video. All right. Gosh, everywhere I turn in this direction, there are just these cool freaking things. Look at that thing the hell world gen and we are i can see the peninsula that i know goes toward home but we are far from home now let's get up to here and see what we can see oh what we can see is this would be a very bad place to fall from you know once again i'm reminded that i have or i had ladders somewhere at home that maybe would have made this trip less life-threatening all right oh hmm well I've already climbed this high. Oh gosh, frame rate. So we're gonna sunk cost fallacy our way to the top. Surely it will have a top if we can just get up there. Or, well, this is going to be taller than I thought it was. The new height box really is something. Ah, the surface. By God, there's even another taller one over there. Holy crap, that's just a lot of detail that the RNG has provided. And now we're above the other cool thing. Dang, and a floating block. Still can't escape the floating blocks. All right, we might as well stand on the tallest of blocks while we're here. Yeah, maybe I don't need towers. Maybe I can just build huts atop these hills. Call it good, you know? Well, I don't know. I know that I need to get down one way or another. I think what we'll do while I'm up here... Oh, let's use the cool function of F5 and F4 to do kind of a slow glide turnaround of this area. As though I were some sort of, you know, vlogger. There we go. Oh, mouse, mouse, please respond. Okay, it's kind of important. Now we'll go down. Right, my water block. Down, down. Yes, and that way is toward home. Ooh. Uh, ah. Oh, we almost outsped the falling speed of the water. That would have been very bad. 
Oh, nice. There's water down there. We. Oh, gosh. There are enemies down here. I heard them. Oh, zombie. Water zombie. Water zombie. All right. Oh, sometimes my mouse just isn't registering when I slide my hand to the right. Oh, man. Ah, zombie. All right, let's get out and let the daylight fight them for us. And yes, I did see the coal and the other nice things in there that we could get. But yeah, no. Again, give me a sandbox. I will explore it. Make that. Ah, okay. Well, no damage because our feet are coated in metal. Don't question it. Oh, creeper. You up there? Oh, he went back in his little cave. What's that water noise? What? That was interesting. Up, 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 up. Yes, and there are, of course, many caves here that we could also explore later. But I think for now... Uh, I'm just going to get my character back home so that I'll be in position to continue working on uh, kind of terraforming the... Oh, man. No, that, that flat one over there just still looks majestic. Anyway, get back over to the home. Yes, and I can see the trees from here. Good extra landmark. Oh, it's so far away. Maybe I should actually build, like, a minecart travel system. I know I talked about it quite some time ago, but it may be time for that to become a reality. Otherwise, I'm going to spend so much time just sprinting sprinting to and fro you know Bling. okay i still have my fancy saplings on me so let's just chop up the dirt here get ourselves a nice flat plane i still don't really know what i'm dealing with in terms of how these trees grow oh there goes shovel one there turned out to be more dirt here than i thought there was but block by block we'll get it there a nice somewhat ugly now flat plane on which to space out our lovely future trees. I'm not in a deep hurry to try and force them all to grow. This is going to be more of a farm area than a finished aesthetic sort of garden. Uh, and do I? Looks like you guys haven't all grown up yet, so we'll wait on that. All right, let's get back inside. It seems we've hit the perfect timing. Squeak out onto the balcony here. All right, so if you've made it all the way to the end, thank you for watching. And uh, I will see you in the next one, I suppose. We'll keep working on the base and exploring and really need to remember to put that rail system in. So, until then, cue the outro. A heartfelt thanks to those who support me on Patreon. You are truly wonderful. If there are any other games you would like to see me play, please consult the graphic on screen. Let me know in the comments if any of these ideas appeal. Otherwise, the Minecraft shall continue. Until next time, everyone, bye-bye for now.